Project 941 Akula Heavy Missile Strategic Submarine Cruises The world's largest nuclear-powered submarines in the world. They were the pride of the Soviet Navy. The first Akula-type submarine, TK-208 Dmitry Donskoy, was laid down in June 1976 at Sevmash, the center of nuclear submarine building. At the time, Sevmash was the world's largest enterprise for the production of submarines. A total of six Akula-type submarines were launched and put into service before 1989. According to NATO codification, they were designated as Typhoon. To build the Typhoons, Sevmash built a special workshop number 55, the largest covered boathouse in the world. A feature of Typhoon submarine design is the presence of five solid inhabited hulls inside the light hull, of which two, the main, up to 10 meters in diameter in the widest place, or arranged in parallel, according to the principle of a catamaran. In the front of the ship, between the main solid hulls are missile silos. Such placement in front of the deck house is tried for the first time. In addition, there are three separate sealed compartments, a torpedo compartment, a control module with a central post, and a stern mechanical compartment. The strong hulls are made of titanium alloys. The lightweight one is steel, with a non-resonant anti-radiation and sound insulating rubber coating, weighing a total of 800 tons. The main armament of the Typhoon submarine is the D-19 missile system, which includes 23-stage R-39 solid-fuel ballistic missiles. Each missile is 60 meters long and has a launch mass of 90 ton along with the launch container. These missiles are the largest in size and weight among all submarine-based missiles used in the world. The missiles have a combat range of 8,300 km and the warhead is divided into 10 warheads of 100 kilotons each. Project Typhoon boats were the only carriers of such missiles. A single salvo allowed the entire missile warhead group to be launched. The launch can be carried up to from surface or underwater position, at a depth of up to 55 meters in all weather conditions. A shock-absorbing rocket launch system makes it possible to launch a missile from a dry shaft using a pressure powder accumulator, which reduces the time between launches and the noise level before launch. As for crew accommodation, there are comfortable living conditions aboard the Typhoon submarine. The crew is accommodated in small cabins. The command staff lives in cabins for two or four people, which have all the necessary amenities – wash basins, TV, and air conditioning. For crew recreation, there is a gymnasium, a heated swimming pool, a solarium, a sauna, a sitting area, and two staterooms – one for officers and one for midshipmen and sailors. Project 941 Typhoon was one of the most powerful and large submarine projects created in the Soviet Union. At one time, these submarines were considered the highest achievement of Soviet engineering and technology. They were created with maximum immersion depth, swimming range and weapons power in mind. In early 2023, the last Typhoon-class submarine was decommissioned from the Russian Navy. There could be various reasons for this – financial problems, maintenance and operational difficulties, as well as changes in the global political situation. Overall, we can say that Project 941 Typhoon left a significant mark in the history of submarine force and weapon development. It demonstrated a high level of technical knowledge and skills, and is still of interest to researchers and historians of military technology.